In this short YouTube video, we're going to be talking about the anatomical position and anatomical terminology. So anatomical language contains mostly Latin and Greek-based terms due to the language people were educated with from back in the day. So there are going to be prefixes and word roots and suffixes that are assembled into different combinations. Part of what's very challenging for some people for anatomy is that this language isn't based in English, it's based in Latin and Greek. So I will do my very best to try and tell you what the word roots mean and give you some context in hopes that maybe that's what's going to help you to, to remember these things. So whenever we're looking at a body, a skeleton, or whatever, unless I otherwise specify, when we talk about anatomy we speak of it in terms of the anatomical position, which is exactly what the lady up on the screen is doing. Okay, so it's fairly simple. The body is standing erect or straight up with the head upright. We're facing forward, which is going to be anterior ventral, and we'll talk about those terms in just a second. The arms are at the sides with the palms facing outward or forward. So that means that your forearms, which go from your elbow to your wrist, are supinated. We'll talk about supination versus pronation, but the um, tip that I use to help remember what the heck that means is that when you're supinated, your palms are facing forward, and so you would be able to hold a cup of soup easily without having to manipulate anything from either the bottom or top of the bowl. And then the other piece is that your toes are forward and your feet are parallel to one another. Again, unless I otherwise specify, which is very infrequently going to happen, when we talk about anatomy and we use directional terms, we're always referring to it in the anatomical position, which is again what you see up on the screen here. There's lots of different anatomical terminology in terms of directions, and one of the things that can be very frustrating for some about anatomy is that oftentimes we name and then we rename either various parts of the body or in this case we have different terms sometimes for the same anatomical directions. So what I have in the parentheses I will try to not use what is written first on the this side so anterior and posterior is what I will try and use but ventral and dorsal means the exact same thing just so that you are aware. So anterior or ventral is going to be in towards the front and posterior or dorsal is going to be towards the back. So if we're thinking about the anatomical position, things that would be anterior would be things like your nose, your knees, your toes. Things that would be posterior would include your heels, the back of your head, etc. I assume that you understand what superior and inferior means, but just in case you need a refresher, superior is going to be going up towards the head, inferior is going to be going down towards the feet in the anatomical position. So your head is superior compared to your shoulder, your knees are inferior compared to your hips. A lot of times when we use anatomical terminology, we're going to use comparisons. So it's not just simply this is this direction, it's this is this direction in relation to this other part which is a really good way to segue into this slide, which is going to be proximal and distal. Typically when we use proximal and distal, we're again always going to use the anatomical position, and we're also always going to be using a comparative term. So proximal is going to be near the point of attachment, closer to midline. Distal is going to be farther from the point of attachment. So what's going to be most proximal in the upper extremity is going to be the shoulder, because that's what hooks into our core hooks into the thorax. What's going to be most proximal in the lower extremity is going to be the hip. So for example, to use both of these terms with the same body part, the elbow is distal to the shoulder. The elbow is also proximal to the hand. The elbow is going to be closer to the shoulder in comparison to the hand, which is why we say the elbow is proximal to the hand, but the elbow is going to be further away from the point of attachment versus the shoulder, which is why it's also distal. We can do the same thing for the lower extremity as well. The ankle is distal to the knee, the ankle is proximal to the toes. Medial and lateral um, are going to be either toward midline or away from midline. We're going to divide somebody up into right and left half. If we're right down the middle symmetrical, we'll sometimes call this the mid-sagittal plane. So medial is going to be toward midline, lateral is going to be away from midline. So I'm going to draw a green dashed line for what's going to be most medial and what would be in that mid-sagittal plane. Okay, so things that are going to be most medial would include your nose, the middle of your lips, your um, sternum, or what you might know as your breastbone, your umbilicus or navel, 
or your belly button. Those are all the same term, another great example of anatomy using the same terms for multiple stuff, things like that. As we work away from that midline or from that mid-sagittal plane, we're gonna be going more lateral. So if we're looking at this, our shoulders are lateral compared to the sternum, our hands are lateral compared to the shoulder, things like that. Superficial and deep has to deal with depth, as you can imagine, with one of the terms being deep. So what we're seeing up on the screen right here is if we took a skull in its entirety, actually, and we sliced it to have a superior part and an inferior part. So what we're looking at is the inferior part. So you can see the yellow and the purple arrows. So what's closest to the yellow arrow would be what's most superficial. That's what's going to be toward the outside of the body, towards the external environment. So what the yellow arrow is on is skull, as well as some subdural tissue and fat. As we get deeper and deeper towards that midline, towards medial, we're getting deeper and deeper into the tissues. So that what we're, the purple part is pointing at is a portion of your brainstem.